another domino, I guess you, I guess if you will, you know, Deshaun Watson was the Texas quarterback, uh, the starting quarterback for the Texans. His last full season was 2020. Uh, then they had the uh, the allegations of sexual misconduct among a lot of masseuses, I guess. Uh, and uh, I think there was 20 women that accused him of sexual misconduct. Uh, he was not suspended by the NFL, so he was eligible to play last season. But uh, the Texans uh, basically made him inactive just about every week. He had demanded a trade even before all this came down. Uh, so he basically sat on the bench all of last year uh, because the Texans didn't play him. And uh, I don't think he had much interest in playing for the Texans. Was he ever even like around? He wasn't even like around the team, was he? He was like. He no, he he was inactive every week. Yeah, he wasn't like he was on the sideline though, right? No, and I no, he was not. No, that's true. But but he was healthy and he could have played. Okay. Um, so now the uh the grand jury determines that uh, criminal charges could not should not be brought against him. So all of a sudden everybody thinks, hey, you know, now Deshaun Watson is available, and he is, but you know, there's still civil lawsuits to come. And, uh, you know, civil lawsuits, while they don't carry the same penalties that uh, criminal lawsuits do, it's very possible that if he's found guilty in those, he could be suspended by the NFL. So having set all that up, we find out that all of a sudden his trade market becomes very hot once the criminal charges uh, were dismissed or no criminal charges. And we had a few teams that were looked that were being looked at as possible landing sites for Deshaun Watson. The Carolina Panthers was one as I think they figured out like the Jets did that Sam Darnold is not going to be the guy. Uh, the uh, Saints were obviously one since uh, Drew Brees had retired. And uh, uh, what's his name? Jameis Winston doesn't look like to be the guy. And Tayshaun, uh, Taysom Hill. I'm sorry, Taysom Hill, Taysom Hill, excuse me, uh, is not a quarterback. I, I'm sorry. Uh, that experiment has gone bad. And Sean Payton decides to retire. So, the Saints definitely needed a quarterback. And then the Browns all of a sudden come up as one team. And the Falcons, you know, Deshaun Watson is from Atlanta. Uh, that was an interesting one to me. I'll let you guys talk about that here in a minute. Uh, the Falcons, you know, I mean, Matt Ryan is their quarterback. Now, Matt Ryan's been in the league 14 years. He's getting older. But but it was kind of a surprise to me that they threw their name in the hat. And it's going to be interesting to see now what the relationship there is with Matt Ryan. So you had the Saints, the Panthers, the Falcons, and the Browns. As of yesterday, I was hearing that the Browns were no longer going to be a, 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 a possibility for Deshaun Watson. And then today we find out that the Browns trade with the Texans uh, for Deshaun Watson. And I think the Texans gave the Browns or the Browns gave the Texans three first round picks and I think a couple second round picks for Deshaun Watson. And to make it even more interesting, Deshaun Watson signs a five year deal worth $230 million, all of it guaranteed. All right, guys, go ahead. <laughs> um, yeah, I um, I don't really know what to make of this deal. Like, first of all, like you said, well, Watson had a no trade clause, right? So Correct. He had to approve whatever team they set up the trade with. So, Correct. Um, like you said, you know, last I heard it was the Saints or the Falcons. Um, and, and I was surprised to see the Falcons on the list because, you know, Matt Ryan's not, I don't want to say he's done. Like, he's got years left to play right. and productive. So that was a little surprising. But, but yeah, and then you, you turn around and see the Browns news, which you told me about. And you know, I, obviously, it came down to the money for Watson, right? Like, I mean, right. nobody had that kind of contract in NFL history. Like, that right. high of a total value all guaranteed. So that's why he waived the trade clause. <laughs> Is so you know so him going him approving that's a no brainer but for the Browns you know um, again it's kind of like the Russell Wilson situation right like Mayfield is not the guy right it's pretty obvious you then we're going anywhere with him so I guess for the Browns you have to go try to get a franchise quarterback which they've never really had and they've they've always tried to do it in the past by drafting guys like Mayfield and Johnny Manziel and. You can go all the way back to Tim Couch and, uh, you know, none of that works. So, again, you get a proven guy who is – he hasn't he hasn't won a Super Bowl like Russell Wilson, but, you know, he's a pro bowler or all pro or whatever. Um, but, you know, he hasn't played in a, a full year. Or you missed last season over a full year. He hasn't played football. So, I wonder what kind of rust will be there, at least initially. And 
you know, I hope uh, I don't know. Like you said, no criminal charges look to be filed, but I hope they put something in the contract that protects them in case something happens with all these cases. You know, I don't know how that works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was going to say, well, I didn't think of that. Maybe they put something in the contract. I'm sure they did. But I was going to say, maybe they talked to the NFL and the NFL said, look, you know, maybe they gave him a little insight into their process and said, we're not going to suspend him for anything. So could go be. ahead and could be. sign away. But I'm sure there's – even if they said that, I'm sure they'd want something in their contract to protect them. Yeah, yeah. And I think the NFL is obviously – it'll look really bad to the NFL if, if you if – you, uh, if you don't suspend him, if these things come down, right. I mean, uh, you know, you, you pretty much have to suspend him for some yeah. games. It's up if this comes down. Like, like Joe says, is he, is he, I think he's an upgrade over Mayfield, but is he, is he worth, is he that much of an upgrade for where they say three first round picks? Well, yeah, they gave, uh, why did they just get Russell Wilson? <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good, yeah, they well, could've, they could've, he's already traded at this point. Yeah. I mean, why didn't, why did were they not after him or something? Why didn't they just, well, I mean, I think, well, first of all, let, let's let's go over the package. They sent three first-round picks. Uh, the Browns said a, a first-round pick this year, next year, and 2024. This reminds me of NFL, uh, the draft day movie, <laughs> three first-round picks. And that was for, but that was for a, a guy in the draft. But anyway, three first-round picks, a third-round pick next year, and a fourth-round pick in 2024. And basically the Texans uh, sent the Browns, Watson, and a 24, 2024 Fifth rounder. Um, to answer your question, Nathan, I think you know Russell Wilson's 32, 33. Deshaun Watson's 26 years old. So Russell Wilson's also a Super Bowl champion. He is. That's right. But but you and I both had Deshaun Watson on our fantasy team a couple of years ago. The guy is a good quarterback. Good fantasy he, quarterback. Yeah, stepping aside from his problems right now. Uh, I think that was a probably a good move for the Browns when you consider you're getting that guy, a young guy that's already proven himself well, pretty well. But has he really proven himself? That well, one. I mean, I, I mean, like how? I mean, on the stat page, he has. He's gonna put up good stats. Yeah, yeah you're he's right. Throw that's, a lot of touchdown. You're right. But that's what, that's what I mean. That's basically what Stafford was before this year, right? Like, yeah, that's right. Guy that had put a lot of stats but hadn't really proven anything, you know? I, right. Yeah, I guess. But Stafford had done it for like a career. Watson had yeah. done it for like five, like what, four or five years, right? Mm-hmm. Like it felt a little different. I don't know. You guys mo- might know this better than me, but did the Texas not go to the playoffs with him, or did they? They might have. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, uh, I th- like they did at least once. I yeah. think they did at least once. That's right. So, okay, so he has that over Stafford. So good point, Joseph. Well, and here's another thing too. I mean, let's look at the Browns for a minute. People forget this. They have Nick Chubb. They have Kareem Hunt, two excellent running backs that basically carried them in the playoffs two years ago. Uh, they. They recently traded for Amari Cooper from the Cowboys. So now they have a really solid top receiver. They signed um, – let me see if I can find this. I know they signed another receiver here. Um, let me pull that up real quick before I go any further. Uh, where am I here? Uh Cleveland Browns, uh, they did sign uh, Jakeem Grant, a Bears wide receiver, to a three-year contract. Uh, so they've got a couple receivers. I think they're probably going to go after a receiver in the draft. So they've got quality receivers. They've got a really solid offensive line because they run the football probably as good, if not better, than any team in the NFL. They've got a quarterback now. They've got an excellent running game, and they've got a pretty solid defense. So you got to figure that this was a piece that the Browns needed to kind of complete their package yeah. and, and maybe give them a chance to win a Super Bowl. Yeah, this is kind of like the Broncos move. You know, you can. Right. I could. I was arguing this for both of them, I guess. But did they give up too much for this? Maybe. But did they definitely need a quarterback? Yes. You know, the the both te- the Browns definitely needed a quarterback, and they're now a better team, and they were a good team to begin with, better than the Broncos were. So. Right. Well, uh, yeah. that's another division that's going to be good. I mean, you have the defending AFC champions, the Bengals. Right. Which is still weird to say. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know, you've got the Ravens, who are going to be – they're going to be good. I mean, right. they're going to be – you know, and then you got the Steelers, who – yeah, they lost Roethlisberger. But, again, the Steelers aren't a franchise that are going to go, like, 3-14. and 14. So, no. they're they're going to be competitive, too. Maybe it were 7-10, 8-9, something like that. So, um the Browns obviously feel like they're a quarterback away. That's right. like the need. And, you know, they're trying to, I mean, them and the, 
Broncos are really just trying to duplicate what the Rams did this year, basically. It wasn't as big improvement. I mean, when we had him on our fantasy team, there were some games like they were close or or they won just because of him, basically. Right. Like, right. I mean, he would he would always come on late late in the games. So right. Like he would have like one touchdown at halftime or none, then he'd throw like three or four in the second half. Right. And he can run. Yeah. That's and that's yeah. Game, that's too. something that that Mayfield couldn't do. But uh, what was I going to say? Uh, don't you think the Browns could have got Watson for less money, probably? <laughs> uh, yeah. They could offer him less money and still got him. I don't know, man. Well, the interesting thing is he had already eliminated the Browns from his choices, and then the Browns must have, must have stepped it up and said, hey, we're going to give you this contract. And he said, yeah, sure, I'll take it and come to the yeah. Browns, which was kind of interesting. you know. But.